Oh, this is a reminder to pay my tax. It smells a bit off. This week has been a really crazy busy week and to try and squeeze in a... <laughs> You're a really bad driver. Can you stop it? We're not really actually driving. As you can see, we're stuck in the car park. So, to try and squeeze in a vlog this week, we're going to do something quick and easy. Uh, I think I, I think you guys want to understand more about Sarah and Jason, and the best way is to see what we have in our bags, Suitcases. in our house, in our car even. So today, actually tonight, it's really late. Really we're going to do a what's in my car. So today we're doing Jason's car. Where do we start? If you watch the what's in my bag clip of Jason, you'll know his car is kind of like his bag. But That's like, okay. bigger. And we're packing Jason's stuff back into the glove compartment. We found in this little bag here, Double-sided tape, Hollywood tape, for me, right? <laughs> yes, it's for Sarah. A Swiss Army knife. Swiss Army knife. Charger for my hands free. Some stamps. An assortment of stamps. Which I'm gonna take <laughs> and not leave in the car. They're no good in the car. Was that hair wax? Got a pair of socks. They're clean. <laughs> Lucky red packet for those emergency occasions. Yeah, sometimes you go to friends' weddings and you don't have an envelope for uh, the red packet, so that's why it's there. In case my contacts fall out whilst I'm driving, I have a pair of specs. Because he's blind without his contacts. These have lenses in them, but they're prescription free and they're transition. Are they? I don't know. They are, yeah, they're, transition. They're, they're, they're transition lenses, so they go black in the sun. So they're kind of like sunnies. Those transition lenses can make you look seedy though. No, they can make you look seedy. These are Sarah's. Wow, they've got prescription. I didn't know I had these in your car. Okay. Can I actually take them back? You can do, they are yours. Wow, suddenly the world is clear to me. Cause I can't drive without glasses. Oh, these will come in very handy, thank you. That's your glove compartment. We have so much dust. It smells really nice. It smells a bit off. What? That's what lavender smells no, like. No, I know what lavender smells it like. Smells this is like off. That. This is <clears throat> off. No, this smells like chongyo. It smells like Chinese medicine. No, the uh, lavender's gone off, darling. How can lavender go off? Lavender goes off. It's been in there for like two years. Go throw it away. Yes, time to throw this away. Here, I've got receipts for car box. Uh, I've got hand cream for my dry hands. I've got more hand cream for my dry hands. How many hand creams do you need? Uh, a mini octopus card. For what? Waste of space. It's got no money in it. Right in the front, we've got two pens. We've got a Bluetooth headset, a Lighter. lighter. <laughs> What's that for? You should throw that away and not encourage people to smoke. It's for friends who smoke though. A tissue that I've used. Very That's good. Are you going to keep using that? I could do. So basically, you can use the outside and then you can turn it inside out and use it some more. But why do you need that when you've got a whole pack of tissue here? I'm trying to save the world. you also got your antiseptic as well. Yep. Moist his lips. Poo poo cream. It's called pop pop cream. A phone charger. The phone's broken, anyways. Oh, it needs to get changed. Got this handbook. For the car some sort of brochure. I think I left it there. Thanks very much, Sarah. Got some rubbish and a spare plastic bag. I think I left it there too. <laughs> Got a brolly. <laughs> okay. Got some tape in case we need to kidnap anyone. <laughs> Dude, what's this tape for? A Zara accessory tag that says 299. I think I've just left a whole heap of rubbish. Uh, car insurance, car insurance, and oh, this is a reminder to pay my tax. This 
has all his like knickknacks, car related. Shell for SO, for Godiva. All sorts of weird stuff. Little coin bag. This is his TVB pass. Spare pair of sunnies. Last but not least, more disinfectant for his hands. That's it. That's the front of the car. Any more mess in the front of the car? No, that's pretty much it. Oh, let me show you. On the right hand side. Wow. So in the back side compartment, we've got three baby bottles of... For the passengers, it comes free with your ride. Yeah. So whenever you hop onto Jason's car, you get a free bottle of like antiseptic. No, it's not just about my well-being. It's for the safety and the cleanliness of everyone in the car. Let me check here. Spare rubbish bags for rubbish? Yeah. He has my beach towel. This is my beloved beach towel from Sydney and he's using it as his seat cover when he's really sweaty after soccer, after tennis. He's using it to soak up his sweat. And also, you can do this. So in the back, it's a little red cushion. British passport. So in case the takeaway sauce and the soup spills, Whilst he's driving like a crazy maniac, we've got this container to kind of like... Protect the car. Protect the car. I like clean. How many umbrellas do you need? Wait, there's one more. I saw it. And this. This was in the side of the car. Yeah, I vex easily. And when I'm out and I'm without an umbrella, I might get wet. So I've got a total of... Seven. So... You see him on the street and it's raining, pat on his back and ask him for an umbrella. When we went down to Causeway Bay last time to sell the ratchets, these were supposed to be in that bundle, but they're not, so they're in the car. And they've been in for you, yeah. That I lend my friends. Do you even have a spare racket for your friends? So uh, I play every Saturday, friends when I can, and when work isn't so busy. So this is an absolute must in my car. What is this suitcase for? You know, the car is just storing stuff you need, and this is my quick getaway. It's got like a chain of clothes, socks, underwear. Is this your runaway bag? Because <laughs> sometimes we work overnight at TVB. I've slept over at TVB for a handful of times. You need to have a change of clothes, a change of stuff. You need stuff. My locker at TVB is not very big. The solution is to have a suitcase in the car for when you're overworked. So basically you can live off this suitcase for two days. For a weekend, definitely. I should be worried. Why would your husband have a runaway suitcase in his car? It's for our future. <laughs> if you ever see me on yeah. the street and you need to drink water, you're running from the rain, you need a change of clothes, toothpaste, tempo, whatever you need, I got it. If they're running from rain, wouldn't you just give them a lift or something rather than give them a 